Preparations underway for New Year's Eve celebrations here in New York City. Today, the numbers lifted into place high above Times Square as we get ready to ring in 2024. But with hundreds of thousands of people expected to be crowded together, it also means the NYPD will be stepping up security and heightened tensions over the crisis in the Middle East and an increased terror alert. Today, Mayor Adams outlined the plan to keep revelers safe. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Torres live this evening in Times Square. Joe. Sandra, 483 protests, say city leaders, since Hamas fired rockets into Israel on October 7th. And as you know, many of those protests happened in high visibility, high profile areas. You don't get much more highly visible than what happens here on New Year's Eve. And for that reason, the mayor says this year's security concerns reach a whole new level. It's a real Herculean task. That executive summary came today from Mayor Eric Adams regarding the monumental efforts to maintain safety and security, law and order during the annual spectacle that is New Year's Eve in Times Square. As a former police officer, the mayor knows New York's finest will have a finely tuned law enforcement strategy for the high profile and densely populated party at the crossroads of the world. But unlike other years, the war in the Mideast and the nearly 500 protests since October 7th all add another layer of concern. You're seeing a small pocket of people who are now becoming part of the protests who are really trying to rile up the crowd, and we cannot tolerate that, and we can't accept Just yesterday, police arrested half a dozen people at a protest near the Rockefeller Center tree. The mayor said he's sure protesters will try to do the same on New Year's Eve. In fact, posts on social media already point to a December 31st shut it down day of action. I'm not a betting person, but I think it's a pretty safe bet that someone is going to try to do something to distract or disrupt the event events in Times Square. Unrest as far as raising awareness and fighting for what they believe in. Obviously, I, I, I support their cause personally. Uh, I don't believe that it's going to make much of a difference as far as the level of security that they're going to bring up here. As for the camera-toting tourists and party-loving revelers in Times Square, we heard little about fear of trouble on the final night of 2023. At the same time, they'll be watching from the comfort of home. We've been through this before, even after 9-11. Mm -hmm. And um, again, I think that the police department does, you know, is watching it very carefully. And I, I, do, I do have confidence in them, so. Now, police have a strategy. Protesters, though, often have their own strategy. And sometimes that involves an initial distraction followed by a greater, more widespread action. The mayor today said police are totally aware of that and will not be caught off guard after action one and ahead of action two.